start just days away now from a rare double planet event that will play out in the night sky. Jupiter and Saturn are set to form what are many are calling a Christmas star. A phenomenon that hasn't happened in 400 years. WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff has the story. Ones like this are really, really rare. For them to get so close that they will just look like one point of light, that, that's very special. It's called a conjunction, a meetup of two celestial bodies. In our case, Saturn and Jupiter. The last time that um, Saturn and Jupiter were close in the sky like this was actually in 1623. And that was just around the time, just before telescopes had been invented. And uh, before that, you'd have to go back to uh, 1226 to see uh, a close alignment like this of those two planets. Saturn and Jupiter will be at their closest on December 21st, the winter solstice. So it's not just the planets will look like one bright star, but it's also how close it will be to Christmas. Is there a way that we could trace this back to, you know, biblical times and see if maybe this is the star that the wise men followed in, in that biblical story? But there was a conjunction which um, many astronomers today think, you know, really could have inspired the story, which was that in 2 BC, Venus and Jupiter actually came so close to one another that one of them passed in front of the other. And they would have been in a similar place in the skies where um, this Christmas's conjunction will be in the West. While the brightness of our Christmas star peaks on December 21st, it will undoubtedly give the gift of inspiration for future astronomers. There are so many beautiful phenomena in, in, in the skies, aren't there? And this is just a great opportunity for people to get up and, and look up. I never cease getting excited by, by things like this. Professor Laycock told me UMass Lowell is working to provide remote capability for their observatory. Soon, you'll be able to see awesome cosmic events like this one streaming live over social media. In the meantime, you can catch the two planets getting closer to one another every night leading up to the Great Conjunction. The best hours are between 5 and 7 each evening. You'll see that in the southwestern sky, you won't be able to miss it. In the studio, meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. Mm. That is fantastic. What a story. I hope it's clear enough for us to see it. Well, you get, you're very close together. It's impossible to miss if you look up. Great. But here's the thing. You have to do it early. It has to be in the evening okay. because they dip below the horizon after around 6.30, oh. 7 o'clock. Oh. So you don't have it all night.